Hello everyone, my name is Ashish and in this video I am going to talk about query folding. So let's start the video. So what is query folding? So query folding is the process of pushing data transformation steps back to the data source for execution. So let's put it this way, when we start creating a report, we import data from a database or any other sources and then we start creating uh, Power Query transformations. So those Power Query transformations can be pushed back to the data source. So that is called query folding. Now why do we need query folding? So the query folding is needed for performance improvement. So by performing the data transformation operations at the data source level, it reduces the amount of data transferred and processed within Power BI. This results in faster transformation. So whenever we interact with our Power BI report, it creates a query and it fetches data. So that query processing, it is done in the data source as well as in the Power, Power BI in memory. So the data is transferred from source to in memory. Now when the query folding is enabled in that particular table, it will directly process the data from the data source making the interaction faster. That is the performance will be enhanced. Second is optimization of CPU usage. So similarly when we interact with our report, the data is not stored in the in memory. It's directly processed from the data source. It's the help of query folding. And the third is incremental refresh. So whenever we are implementing an incremental refresh in our data set, query folding is one of the criteria. You should have a query folding in your tables where you want to apply incremental refresh. Let's go to the next page. So how to check query folding? So for this, let's go to the Power BI report. So here in this, uh, we can see we have an employee table from the SQL server. So to see if this employee table is uh, having query folding enabled or not, to check that, let's uh, right click on this employee table, go to edit query. Now here you can see this apply steps. Uh, go to the last step and right click. You can see this view native query. Uh, I can I can see it's not grayed out. Uh, it's it's showing me the option view native query. If I click on this view native query, it will show me the query. That means the query folding is enabled on this table. So if this view native query is grayed out, that means query folding is disabled on that table. Now let's go back to the PPT. So which transformations support query folding. So there are some of the most common transformations that support query folding are removing or renaming columns, merging foldable queries that are based on the same source, appending foldable queries based on the same source, numerical calculations, joins, pivot and unpivot. So these are the common transformations. So these are not the only transformations that support query folding. There are other transformations that, that may support query folding. So let me show you one example from here. So here let's uh, rename this column from first name to let's add a space here in between first name enter so you can see a new step has been applied that is renamed column where I have renamed this first name to the first name now let's see if the query folding is still enabled so let's right click on this renamed columns and you can see this view native query options if I click on this you can see it's uh, it's enabled. So in this query, it has been modified here. The first name has been changed to first name. Let's also try to remove one of the column. So if I click on uh, this and remove this column. Now let's see if the query folding is still enabled. So right click here and so we can see the view native query option. So it's still enabled. If I click on this, you can see uh, the last name is not there. It has removed the last name from the query. So this is how we can see if the table is having query folding or not. Let's go back to the PPT. So these are some transformations which support query folding. Now these are the transformations that do not support query folding. That is merging or appending queries that are based on different sources. Using some functions while adding custom columns that do not have a counterpart in SQL. So when you add a new custom column in Power Query and uh, perform certain operation which which uses certain functions which is not available in the SQL. In that case, the query will not be folded. 
third is adding columns with complex logic this refers to functions that do not have equivalent functions in the data source it's the same thing when the query becomes uh, more uh, complex and that and that uh, complex operation is not supported in the query and let's go to the next page so what data sources support query folding so these are some of the data sources that support query folding that is relational databases microsoft sql server mysql postgresql oracle and others azure data sources azure sql database azure sql data warehouse and azure analysis services Online services, SharePoint Online, Dynamic 365, Google Analytics, and Salesforce. Audit of feeds, SAP, certain web APIs, and Azure Data Lake Storage, etc. So these are some of the sources that support query folding. Uh, while we go to the next page, uh, we have certain data sources that do not support query folding. And those are flat files, that is CSV, Excel, and other file formats. Web data, web data connectors, no SQL databases, API based connectors, multi dimensional cubes as from SSAS, custom data sources that are third party data sources. So these, uh, data, so these data sources do not support query folding. Let's go to the next page and here, when should we avoid query folding? So we should avoid query folding when we have, when we can see these three, uh, so we should avoid query folding when we see these three limitations. We, we should avoid query folding when we see these three possibilities. First is data source limitations. So if there is some uh, constraints in the data source and the, uh, when we fire the complex queries, it uh, so some data sources might have limitations or constraints on the type of queries they can handle efficiently attempting to fold query complex queries or large data sets in such sources could lead to performance issues or errors second is data source performance so in some cases the data source performance might not be optimal for handling the complex queries so folding heavy transformations could strain the data sources negatively impact overall performance so basically when you have to do complex transformations in power query do not use query folding third is data security when dealing with sensitive data or certain or when certain data should not be exposed to end users query folding might not be desirable in such cases it's better to materialize data within power bi to ensure proper data security and access controls so that was about query folding i hope you like the video and if you like the video do not forget to subscribe my channel thanks for watching